kids from science. I'm Grace and Ken and yeah. And today's experiment is brain patterns, right? So we're going to test to see how your brain and how many things. Are you good at concentrating? Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a couple tests to see how good you are. Start patting your head. Now start patting your stomach. Oh. <laughs> now do circles on your stomach and pat your head. Perfect. Keep that up. Now start hopping up and down. <laughs> you're rubbing your... You're, do, you're doing it. Good job. You, you started doing circles a little bit on your head. <laughs> Very good. Good job. All right. So one, start patting your top of your head. We've all done this before. Keep that patting. Now it's really hard to do two things at a time. So go ahead and start patting your stomach at the same time. So you're pretty good, so you're concentrating. But now I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. Keep patting your head, but do circles on your stomach. <laughs> Keep patting your head, your circles on your head. <laughs> wait, what? Oh wait. Keep patting your head and then do circles on your stomach. Like that? Yeah, perfect. You're good. So what's happening here is it's easy for the hands to do the same pattern of movement, but it's very hard to do two different movements at the same time. Why is this? Well, when you repeat the same movement, you get used to moving your hands in the same pattern. Your brain is programmed to do this. Back and forth movements and circular patterns are easy to do, but one pattern at a time. Both types of movements are programmed into the brain. It's much more concentration to do two programs at the same time. As you saw when Grace, when she even did three, it was even harder. Give this a try at home and let us know in the comments below how it turned out for you and how many different patterns you were able to do. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. <laughs> and remember to click thumbs up. And subscribe. Thank you.